Freaking Sayaka's being adorable as always, that's a lie. You know what? I take it back. New season, new me. We don't have any beef. I'm gonna gonna settle, I'm gonna I'm gonna squash my beef with Sayaka. See how long that lasts. Less than a... Less than two minutes ago, this this uh, this hoodie was on backwards, and I had not noticed, and, uh... Uh, good day, good people! Toon Link Dave. Year of the Horizon. United States Aviator. Hit the... Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> Dong on Rampa Hunger Games, as you guys can see, as you guys may have heard... We got an interesting lineup for you guys today. It is the Japanese voice actors, who they share their voice actor with, if there's another Danganronpa character, and someone from another franchise who was joining them, who also shares that voice actor. And we've got a lot of them from the Japanese side. If you're not familiar with the Japanese voice actors, you are not alone, because neither am I. <laughs> but I thought we should at least dwell... We should delve into it for one time. Just one time and one time only, because there's actually a lot of interesting ones here. So let's go and peek at all of them. On Team Rhino! <laughs> because I didn't change the team animal names, because sometimes I'm like, you know what, let's keep them this time. We have Makoto and Nagito, who share a voice actor, with the man himself, Yugi, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Who would have known? On Team Gorilla, we have Hajime, who has the same voice, who shares a voice, rather, with Conan. The, the, the truest detective of them all. Team Gazelle, we have Komaru, with the same voice as Katori. Team... a... 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 a what? <laughs> Anomalocaris? What is that? Anomalocaris. Anomalocaris is an extinct genus of radiodont, an order of animals thought to be closely related to ancestral arthropods. The first fossils, interesting. Okay, so, okay, it's one of those. Cool! Well, that's their team. And <laughs> sharing a voice with Kaede. Actually, the voice actor for the v for V3 Kaede in Japanese plays Junko and Mukuro on stage on Danganronpa Live. So that's why Mukuro's here. But she also voices Anna in the Japanese dub of Frozen and Frozen 2. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> team Ox. We have Shuichi. And we have Jesse from Pokemon. Never would have thought. Team Fox. We have Junko. And Yukari from Persona 3. Team Puppy, because I had to check Saika. Kirby. 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 Team Trilobite! We have Kyoko and Fur from Fire Emblem Heroes. That's the. Not originally from Fire Emblem Heroes, but in Fire Emblem Heroes, that's the voice actor that is shared. Team Zebra, we have Gundam and JoJo. Joseph, Joe, who would have, I would have never known, would have never, I'm sure some people knew, but I didn't know. Team Kitty, we have Kazuichi, Japanese voice actor shared with Tokoyami, my boy, the man, the legend. Team Polar Bear, Kokichi, and Dabi, which you know what, I, I can't say I, I didn't see coming, can't say it, can't say I didn't see that one coming. Team Salmon, didn't see it coming, Gonta and Olaf from Frozen, and Frozen 2. In Japanese, who would have known? I would not have known. You wouldn't have known either. And Team Viper, which I saw and I was like, I, I think we're over 24, but we gotta include these two. Maki and Mira from Zero Time Dilemma. That sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right for Mira. Okay, but that's a lot. We have a lot of interesting characters here. Um, which one of these is the most surprising to you? I will answer that because I already have my answer. <laughs> I've got my answer. Easy peasy. Um, and who do you got for first? 
those two. Those two questions. Um... I gotta think about it, actually. I guess while I'm thinking you're making those comments, we can show off some fantastic comments like this one. And that one. And even that one! From the singles! From the singles finale! Or the singles closing ceremonies, rather. Which was a good time, which was a fantastic time. Are you prepared? Because I think the most surprising- I almost want to pick Jesse and Shuichi. Because I would have never guessed. I would have never known in a million years. But all of me wants to say, Golov, uh, Golov, Golov, Gota and Olaf. The team of Golov. 100%. It's Golov. Yeah, 100%. I think we're ready, though. I think we're set. I don't actually need this die. I, I had it, and I was like, I don't I don't need it. Are you ready? Because we got a we got a fun list. We got a fun set. Let's go on. Let's see what happens. Nobody has any items because every once in a while, when we do one of these, where it's a bunch of just like new ones, it just automatically puts items in, and I do sometimes you just forget to take one out. But I I did it properly this time. I did it fantastically. So we can just go ahead and see who's going to these singles premiere. First and second place. That's the most important thing. The most important thing. And of course, I'm picking Kaye Day for first and Mukuro for second. I think that their team is just going to be alright. I think that they're going to be A-OK. -okay. <sighs> In which case they probably won't be as I start the first round. Because that's just, that's just how it goes. <laughs> that's just how it goes. As we start things off. There are podiums now, and there are tributes, and there are horns, because that is where the budget went. So can we please sound the horns? Thank you. Kamaru and Kotori have their fingers touched by accident. They both blush a little bit. <coughs> Tokoyami mopes around uselessly. Oh, poor boy. Kotori, you didn't last long as you tried to kill Yugi. But Yugi retaliates and kills her instead. I wasn't actually Yugi, I promise you. Gundam. Doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of the ultimate pimp Kazuichi. You have not been... You've not been a... Ever since you won the title, you have not been doing great, Kazuichi. Uh, ever since you lost her, rather. Hajime totals his thumbs. Mira's only looking out for herself. Jojo. Sizes his muscles. Kyoko. Looks around for stuff to scrounge. Kokichi. Is looking out for... Looking for an easy out... Yukari tries to kill Makoto, but Makoto retaliates and kills her instead. This is what I, I saw, and I was like, oh, my my poor heart. <clears throat> Nagito ambushes Kaede and eviscerates her. That's 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 how my picks go. That's uh looks like nothing has changed. Anna fails to grasp his gravity the situation. Kirby starts sobbing uncontrollably. Freaking side because being adorable as always, that's a lie. You know what? I take it back. New season, new me. We don't have any beef. I'm gonna gonna settle I'm gonna I'm gonna squash my beef with Sayaka. See how long that lasts. Shuichi stares into the distance. Olaf starts sobbing uncontrollably. Fur kind of wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. Junko tries to get others to notice her. Yugi does something really cute. Gonta hopes this isn't after harmony when Jesse and Shuichi get into an argument over who should be in charge. Conan is cooking up a genius idea. Mukuro! Sets down a trap. Makoto just wants to be helpful. Maki wishes she could go home, and Dabi gets caught in one of Mukuro's traps. Now all he can do is hope to be freed. It's a Mukuro trap. You ain't getting out of that one. We are down to 23. We lost five. Three people who were not canon characters, and two who were. So can we get a Claire de Lune? Four. Kotori. Kazuichi. Yukari. Kaede. Fur. We still have 23 people to go. 13 more into her saving grace picks. It will not be going on <laughs> like it did yesterday. <laughs> it will not. So as we go on, and as we proceed, we will see what happens. Remember, the top two hold a special place not only in my heart, but in the season six premiere for the singles title. Let's go on, let's click the next round, and let's proceed to see Kokichi's... See his team polar bears, a chumps, bunch of chumps ready to be milked. It's just the two of you, and one of them's caught in a trap. <laughs> Olaf stares into the distance, but no longer caught in the trap because Makoto feels sorry for Dobby and frees him from said trap. Mira 
is looking out only for herself, Gundam thinks of a dark, dark poem, Dobby's looking for an easy out, freaking Sayaka's looking adorable as always, maybe she is, maybe she isn't, I got no beef, Mukuro, won't give up so easily, Kyoko, looks around for stuff to scrounge, Yugi, attacks Shuichi before Jesse can react, there's nothing Jesse can do, all of Jesse. Gonta sizes his muscles, Nagito feels like Yugi stole him down, and Nagito takes out Yugi, poor child, why have you done this, Nagito, how dare you? Maki finds a sword shiny and it's sharp, uh oh. Kamaru stares into the distance, Junko finds a dapper suit and puts it on, Maki challenges Corby, uh, Kirby to a duel with newfound courage with her sword, but unfortunately Kirby <laughs> is a beast and takes Maki out. I don't know why, the battle between Maki and Kirby <laughs> just sounds hilarious. Jojo feels strong enough to handle anything. Tokoyami thinks about Kazuichi and stops quietly. Jesse sits there with a blank stare. Hajime finds a bunch of tactical combat gear and equips it. You should be looking for your wizard robe, my boy. That's how you win games. Actually, I don't think you've ever won the game in a wizard robe, but you won as a sheep. <laughs> Conan asks Hajime if she's found anything useful, and Anna fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. We lost another three. Twenty remain until more, uh, ten more until your saving grace picks, but for right now, we got a hit. A lovely Claire de Lune. Four. Shuichi, Yugi, Maki. 20 remain. We lost eight. Well, once we lose like two more, we'll look at uh, we'll look at who's left. But right now, we, we gotta keep going. We're not even at the Samurai Woman. We're not even at the Crisis of Fate. We're not even at the Saving Grace picks. We just gotta keep on keeping on. We just have to proceed. Oh, Kyoko. To round three. Is going to hopes he doesn't have to harm anybody. Kyoko trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking her neck. A shame. Freaking Sayaka looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. That sounds bad, but you know what? I got no beef. No beef. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Hajime is looking downright tactical in that combat gear. Jesse just wants it to end already. Mukuro sets down a trap. Dabi stares into the distance. Jojo tries to kill Hajime, but his combat gear diverts the blow. Nagito is smart enough to disarm. One of Mukuro's traps because that's the trap master. And Mira tries to kill him as he's disarming that trap, but you know what? He's got a trap up his sleeve and kills Mira instead. Komaru finds some other traps and now she is a cave woman. Gundam mopes around uselessly. Conan is thinking of plans to get out of here. Kirby does his breast to avoid freaking Sayaka. Well, you know what? I do that too, Kirby, but you know what? I squashed my beef, so maybe you should give her a chance. Olaf is being adorable as always. Anna finds a grenade. Better be careful of that. Better be careful with that, Anna. Oh no. <laughs> Kokichi attacks Olaf from behind and kills him. The snowman is down. Junko acts cool in her dapper suit. Tokoyami thinks about Kazuichi and continues to cry, and Makoto never wants to kill anyone again. We lost another three. Another three gone. So can we get, first of all, a clear day loom. Four. Kyoko. Mira. Olaf. And as we go up here, let's go ahead and check everybody's statuses. Let's see who's left. Komaru for Team Gazelle. All of Team Zebra, Gundam and Jojo. Team Polar Bear, all of them are still in two. Kokichi and Dabi. Team Viper's gone. Team Salmon still has Gonta. Team Fox still has Junko. Team Gorilla still completely in. The Anomo... The Anomala Karos, Karos, Jeez Louise. Mukuro and Ana still in. Team Axe still has Jesse. Team Trilobite is out. Team Kitten still has Tokoyami. Team Rhino still has Makoto and Nagito. And Team Puppy still completely in. We still have seven more to lose until you're saving Grace picks. And we have to get there. Only one way to do it, too, and that's by clicking. Proceed. Round four begins. As Gundam looks around for stuff to ground, Saika's looking for an easy out. You know what? If, if. All of me was about to say, and I had to legitimately staff myself, <laughs> I was about to say, it would be you. You would be trying to find an easy way out. The beef is gone, so I'm not gonna say it. But you know what I was thinking. Hajime finds a pseudo mutable armor now. He's just getting all of the all of the gear, but not his wizard robe. Mukuro seems unshaken by any of this. Kirby tries to kill Hajime, but now his knight's armor is doing work. Jojo sobs quietly. Jesse snaps out of it. Tokoyami finds a dapper suit. Komaro twiddles her thumbs. Kokichi and Dabi get into an argument over who should be in charge. Anna juggles with her grenade, kind of wanting to use it. Nagito can't wait to kill again. Komaru wants to end things once for all with Dabi, but Komaru bites the dust. You should not have challenged that man. That was a mistake, Komaru. That was a mistake. <laughs> Junko tries to get others to notice her. Conan is thinking of a plan to get out of here. Gonta sizes his muscles and uh, Makoto is ready to defend his friends but was not ready to defend his sister because this Claire de Lune is for her. Can we get it for... Komaru. We still got 16. 
16 folks, 16 remain. We gotta keep going. We will not wait. We will not waste time. Wasting time was a thing of the past, not for me, not right now, as I continue to waste time. Let's go ahead and click next round to see at the start of round five. Gundam tries to kill Hajime, but his knight's armor, uh, his combat gear diverts the blow. He's got knight's armor and combat gear. What does he do? He's got, he's the, uh, Hajime might win this thing. Tokiomi mopes around uselessly. Yukari's gone. Conan asks Hajime if he's found anything useful. There's a lot of orange below, but I have not read any of it. Gonta hopes, that, no, hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone. Mukuro won't die like they are. There's Nagito steps down a trap. The first orange is Kokichi getting caught in said trap. Now all he can do is hope to be freed. There's still so much orange below. Freaking Saiyan does something really cute, I guess. Jojo tries to kill Makoto, but Makoto retaliates and kills him instead. Jojo, rest in peace to you. I did not expect that. Good on you, Makoto. I guess it was your luck. And Dabi ambushes Gonta and gets rid of him. The despair. Anna fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Junko seems unshaken by any of this. Kirby attacks Hajime and Conan from behind, slaughtering and maybe consuming them both. Kirby has probably also consumed all of Hajime's powers within his his freaking knight's armor. It's probably got what uh combat gear on. Kirby's just got it all now. Kirby might be the the one to pick now. Jesse attacks Nagito before Makoto can react. There's nothing Makoto can do as Nagito perishes. Hajime's corpse desiccates, decays silently. And Makoto's on the verge of a nervous breakdown because he's lost his sister last round and his partner this round. Which means as we take a step back and get a Claire de Lune 4. Jojo. Gonta. Hajime, Conan, Nagito. We still have 11 folks remaining, which means we still have one more to lose until it's your saving grace picks. So we just gotta keep on keeping on. This was bloodier than I thought it was going to be, <laughs> unfortunately. So, let's go ahead. We won't wait. We'll proceed. One more gone. We'll be good at this round. We will, right at the start, as Davi kind of wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. Mukura has a horrible feeling in her gut. Tokoyami remembers Kajuichi and continues to cry. Continues to pay his respect. Pouring not one out for the homie, but pouring his tears out for the homie. Kibo does his best to avoid freaking Sayaka. Jesse is looking for an easy out. Kokichi is still caught in said trap. Anna is juggling with that grenade, trying to use it, wanting to use it. Makoto sits there with a blank stare, freaking Sayaka is being adorable as always. Maybe, maybe not. Junko tries to get others to notice her. There's not many people left to notice you. And Gundam is looking around for stuff to scrounge. We are at a classic 10 remaining, which means after this clear day loon, four. Dobby. Then we'll scroll up. We'll take a deep breath in. We'll take a deep breath out. <sighs> Because it is time for your Saving Grace Picks. Team Gazelle is completely out and so is Team Gorilla. Team Puppy is completely in with Freaking Saika and Kirby. Team Zebra still has Gundam Tanaka, the Supreme Overlord of Ice. Team Sam is completely gone and so is Team Viper. Team Polar Bear still has Kokichi, who is already in the singles finale, so he's just here for fun. He's here to try and be the second person to get back-to-back -back victories in a single week. And by second person, I mean he's going to try and just do it again because he was the first person to do it. Nag uh, Nagito and Yugi are gone, leaving Makoto alone for Team Rhino. Team Ox still has Jesse from Pokemon. Team Fox still has Junko. Team Trilobite is gone. Team Kitten still has Tokoyami. And Mukuro and Anna are still in for this prehistoric team <laughs> that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce again. That is it. That's your final 10, so go ahead. You guys know the drill. Give me first and second, just first and second, because that's what really matters. First and second place. Pick it in the comments. In your comment. Make a new comment. Do whatever you gotta do. Reply to your comment. Whatever you can do to make sure that your comment doesn't, like, disappear into the void, because... YouTube. Classic YouTube. <laughs> And I will make mine. I got... Because to to officially say that our beef is squashed, freaking Sayaka is my pick for first. I'm picking Junko for second. Just in case Sayaka actually does get first. Not because she's a part of the squad and, you know, our goals are, you know, getting rid of Sayaka where, where it matters. No, 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 no. It's not that. No, 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 no
just because, you know, me and Junko, we, we still lie, and still lie, and, you know, okay, we're just, uh, yes, 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 yes. okay, well, you know what, uh, we'll just continue on, we got two, we got Sonic, <laughs> we got Kirby, we got Gundam, Ooh, we got Kokichi, we got Makoto, we got Jesse, Junko, Tokoyami, Mukuro, and Ana in the final 10. They're all going strong, hearts beating, in line with that of a samurai woman. It's the final 10. How many will we lose? It's almost time. It's almost the end game. Let's roll up the sleeves and let's keep on keeping on at the start of my boy. <laughs> Round 7, Kokichi is still caught inside trap, Mukuro is determined to survive this, getting 10th place, Gundam attempts to kill freaking Sayaka, as you do, but Kirby intervenes just in time, G Kirby had to kill Gundam to protect freaking Sayaka's life, Jesse tries to kill Junko, but Junko retaliates and kills her instead, rest in peace to Jesse, you should have had James here too, Junko, can't wait to kill again, <laughs> she's like, I got blood on my hands, oh it feels, <laughs> it feels good, <laughs> classic freaking Junko, Makoto, just wants it to end already. Anna fails to grasp the gravity of the situation, but you're made it pretty far so far, let me tell you. Kirby sizes his muscles, freaking Saika twiddles her thumbs, and Tokoyami finds an axe, uh-oh, upping his chances of survival somewhat. If there's anything that I know in these games, the axe is devastating in this simulator. But we lost two. And it's a sad time, not just a sad time, a terrible turnabout for... Gundam, Jesse, and with those two gone, we still have Kokichi, Mukuro, Sayaka, Kirby, Junko, Makoto, Ana, and Tokoyami is your final eight, and their hearts are still beating as fast as ever with the same pace of a samurai woman, so we gotta keep on keeping on. Let's go ahead, let's click next round, and let's see what happens as we start round eight. Ana. Juggles with that grenade that she's had like the whole game and she has just not used it. Kyoko's gone. Junko seems unshaken by any of this. Freaking Saiyaka, we also have to remember that in this game, if you find that wish ring, <laughs> it's not over for any of the competitors that were a part of your team. Because <laughs> you can bring them back. We've seen it happen twice. <laughs> Junko seems unshaken by any of this. Freaking Saiyaka somehow finds a suit of fully of medieval armor and gleams with a dazzling shine. I tell you what, Kokiji still trapped, screams for help, but nobody answers. Tokoyami is ready to use his axe if he has to Makoto. Snaps out of it. Mukuro follows some sparkles. Mukuro could get her first win, and I hope I didn't jinx her. She finds a magic wand. Hopefully, it does some good for her. Kirby doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Kokichi. The ultimate opportunist already found his opportunity. He already found his opportunity. Can we get... I guess it's a terrible turnabout for... Kokichi. Even though he shined yesterday, he did. So we really can't say it's that terrible. He was trying to pick up another one. He was trying to get greedy. He already had his opportunity and made the most of it. We still have seven competitors left though. And not all of them can make it. Only two can. So, two can. <laughs> There's no two cons here. But let me tell you, Tokoyami is close. That's not, that's not, uh, <laughs> that's, we need to, uh, we actually need to, they're still a samurai woman. Are you prepared? The final seven, the lucky seven. Will it be an unlucky round? Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. It might happen. It's not lucky for <gasps> the betrayal. Freaking Saika looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. There's no one. I'll get, I'll get, I'm just gonna keep going. Not gonna say, ooh boy. Tokoyami catches a strange corner in his eye and discovers an ancient scepter. Arcane magic courses through his body as his fingers touch the carved wood. Makoto has a horrible feeling in his gut. Ana thinks about Kaede and sobs quietly. The betrayal as Mukuro angrily gestures towards Makoto with her magic wand. Only Makoto only has time to feel his brain hemispheres try to switch places before he topples over. Dead. Mukuro, I thought you I thought you loved the old boy. I thought you loved Makoto, but apparently that love ain't real. It ain't real. Kaede's lifeless body is writhing with maggots. It's not a Kaede day today. Shuichi is gone. Kirby sizes his muscles, and Junko finds a lovely bikini and puts it on. It's quite revealing. I buy that as we get another single day, another single loss, another terrible turnabout for Makoto. 
And we should have known, because it is Makoto, and there were seven people left. Lucky number seven, which is technically unlucky for him to die, so it's a shame. But we still have freaking Sayaka Tokoyami, Ana, Mukuro, Kirby, and Junko. All still beating strong with the heart of a samurai woman. But we gotta keep on keeping on. Let's go ahead. Let's click next round and see what else happens. Uh-oh. <laughs> round 10, nobody's gone, but Junko's looking good in that bikini. Will she look good in it as a sheep? Because with a flick of an ancient scepter, Tokoyami turns her into a sheep. Ana doesn't understand what's happening. Kirby just wants it to end already. Mukuro waves her magic around to Ronson. Round. Wound. Wand around. Sending sparkles everywhere and freaking Saika does something okay, I guess. We'll proceed. Excuse me? <laughs> Ana juggles with her grenade a bit, kind of wanting to use it with a flick of her magic wand. Mukuro turns Kirby into a sheep. Tokoyami polishes his ancient scepter, making the magic orb shine. Freaking Sayaka is looking for an easy out. Kirby is a sheep and grazes peaceably, and so does Junko. Likewise, between those two will go again. We have two sheep. Oh. Ana challenges Freaking Sayaka to a duel. Ana bites the dust. <sighs> Hajime's gone. Junko is still a sheep. Grazes peacefully. Mukuro decides to put Kirby out of his sheepy misery. Rest in peace to Kirby. Tokoyami chops Sayaka to bits with his axe. But we don't have any beef, so I'm not going to do what I usually do. I, I, we don't have any beef. <clears throat> no beef, but we're down to our final three. And it's Mukuro, Junko the sheep, and Tokoyami. Who is going to take this victory. I have no idea, but the top two going to the single season six premiere for the championship. But first, can we get a Claire, Daylune? No, I'm sorry, a terrible turnabout for Anna, Kirby, freaking Sayaka. It feels so weird. I'm I'm trying. So I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna squash the beef. I'm gonna squash the beef, you guys. I'm gonna squash it. We'll see how long it lasts. We'll see how long it lasts. It's gonna last. I'm. I promise you, it's gonna last. It's gonna last this episode at least. I promise you. <sighs> Can you see the legitimate pain in my soul? To not say that this was absolute. Oof, not gonna. Oh no, no. I almost broke it out. If I would have finished it, I would have hit it, and it would just. I would have. It would have been. It would have been there. Junko, Mukuro, Tokoyami. The final three. Two will go on. One's gonna have to perish. And who will that one be? They have. Mukuro has a magic wand. Tokoyami has the ancient scepter. And Junko's just chilling because she is a sheep of despair wearing a bikini. This is chaos. Between these three characters, I expected such chaos. But for right now, we gotta keep on. It's a look. No, I'm sorry. It was not before, but now because it's just Junko, Mukuro, and Tokoyami, they are caught in a crisis of fate. <clears throat> Who's coming out on top? I don't know, but it could all end as we click next round. It does not, but Mukuro does pick up another weapon. Junko baws softly and is a sheep. Whoa. Mukuro just found a laser gun. She starts swinging around making pew pew sounds before she realizes she can just pull the trigger and make those sounds for real. Hajime's corpse is writhing with maggots and Tokoyami thinks of a dark dark poem. <gasps> Pardon me, but... In round 14, Junko is a sheep and accidentally falls off of a cliff while grazing. Tokoyami is ready to use his axe if he has to, but unfortunately he could not because he bought an axe to a laser gun fight. And Mukuro shoots several white hot holes into Tokoyami's body using her laser gun. Junko perished a little too early, which means Tokoyami, you will be finding yourself in the singles premiere for season 6. But more importantly, this is a moment that we've been waiting for. Every once in a while, we're like, you know what? I'm waiting for the X, Y, and Z win. So first of all, as I give a terrible turnabout to 
Junko. Tokoyami. Then I can say within my deepest and sincerest soul that with my heart drew I've been waiting I've checked my watch every once in a while and I've said I'm still waiting for it I checked my watch again I said I'm still waiting for it checked it one more time I was like I'm waiting for it but as I check it right now I think the wait is over because I can finally say for the first time ever that you're a winner Representing Team Anomalocaris. Anomalocaris, that is correct, and we'll go with that. It took her six seasons. It took her ages and ages and ages and ages. Loss after loss, kill after kill. Despair set its foot upon her back, crushed her, broke her back, much like broke her back, much like Bane broke the back. Of the Batman. But today is her day. Today is her win. Mukuro's win. Finally. Happens. You can't be mad at that. You couldn't write it. She had a game. How good of a game did she have? Yeah, she had three KOs. She... it took ages. It's still not really in seasonal play, but we'll take what we can get. <laughs> we'll take what we can get. Mukuro. You got there. You made it. Even with competitors... with such power hidden within them, like JoJo. Like Yugi. You made it. You came through. You were just waiting for a game with the most powerful of folk. Even with Tokoyami as your final opponent. You brought out the laser gun that you just found. And you made good use of it. Mukuro takes the win. It's the Mukuro win. That we were all waiting for. Kirby had five KOs. Mukuro had three. Nagito also had three. Yugi with two. Dabi with two. Makoto with two, everyone else with one or less. Mukuro and Tokoyami join the singles season six premiere. And I like that. I love those two. It just feels like the most. It, it's warm. It's a warm feeling because Mukuro got her win. Kokichi got his um his upteenth win yesterday, and Mukuro grabbed her first. And that's what that's what we're here for. The Mukuro win. It happened. Since season one. I was like, the Mukuro win, it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen one day. Still waiting for the Mukuro win, but we made it. It's closure. We hit it. Even squash my beef Psycho for now. For now, it's probably it might. I, I'll I'll last. <laughs> leave leave how long you think I'll last <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> but for right now, uh, in terms of the people who've joined, Mikan, Kokichi, Mukuro, and Tokoyami joined the other competitors, who are all in, and they will be fighting for Fuyiko's title at the start of season 6, and I'm excited for it. And I'm so excited that Mukuro made it, and that she won. Not getting second place, she came out on top. She made it. I'm pleased. I thought she was gonna get second, but she made it. That's our girl. Let's go. It's the year of the horizon. We couldn't have predicted what awaited beyond the horizon this time, because it was Mukuro. We all had lost faith, but she finally came through. Today was her grace day, and Ibuki wasn't even here. Toon Link Day of the United States Aviator. Taking off. Stay classy. Toodaloo. Flight crew. The Mukuro win. Finally. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs>